<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kamukhela Subobedi. Yes, <laughs> I'm here with another video for you guys. Today's video is basically about my 2021 hygiene routine. And basically, I want to tell all the girls out there that you can definitely have good hygiene on a budget. Right? That's the whole point of me being here. Okay? If you want to continue watching, please like, comment, and subscribe. And share the video if you really, really care. Yeah, let's get into it. Okay. So, I'm basically going to give you the routine that i have established for my 2021 what i've decided on what i am doing on a daily basis some things are not done every day however you know i'm going to go through with you guys the full routine that i do when i'm like really really trying to be squeaky clean and yeah i'm gonna go from the top of my head to my feet basically a summary for each part of my body so before today i had natural hair and basically i used shampoo um, on my hair which i found to be very irritating to my scalp so what i've decided to do is to use apple cider vinegar so that's what i use to wash my hair right apple cider vinegar according to certain researchers is very good for breaking down any oil bonds any dirt bonds which makes your hair a little bit more fresher and cleaner than when you use a shampoo and i found it to be very refreshing it just it just opens up pores man like it just does everything that you needed to do in terms of cleaning your hair another thing i do do is like a scalp test so once you're done washing use your clean hands and rub an open part in your scalp and when you smell that and if it's got a little bit of a smell i tend to just freak out because i don't want to smell weird i make sure that i go in as much as possible with the apple cider vinegar and really just break down those bonds from my scalp to my tip and then what i do use for shampoo because i do prefer also to have that lathering up of soap i use this coconut oil conditioning shampoo by palmer's this is one of the best products guys it's like literally almost done it's just so good for my scalp it's very nourishing so once you obviously break down the bonds of the dirt in your hair you can definitely use that to put back basically the nutrients that your hair needs on a daily basis right and then with conditioner guys deep conditioning is so so important deep conditioning means that you put conditioner in your hair and allow it to sit for like at least 30 minutes i use this cantu sheer butter which is the best thing that's ever happened to me and it's also almost finished there's something about it that really moisturizes your hair after giving it a good wash and your hair really smells really good as well it smells so amazing like it smells so good oh my gosh then i go in with my hair food any hair food just so that you can use a lock method so the liquid would be water you put an oil so that would be your hair food or your castor oil and then the cream would be then the conditioner so then your lock method is in for that specific day so every two weeks two to three weeks i don't want to wash my hair um too often because that obviously strips out um the nutrients and my hair really loves it when i don't wash it as often the conditioner cream and hair food or the oil keeps the hair really moisturized and also any dirt kind of slips off so that's why i'm confident that keeping my hair for two to three weeks without washing is okay so now we are going to our face i would like to first introduce i think every household has this ear buds or cotton buds to clean out your ears that i do maybe every two to three days you just use it as often as possible like your ears must always be clean face wash i use the l'oreal paris pure clay detox wash and basically what this does is it just detoxifies your skin so i'm not someone who really concentrates on my skin as you can see obviously i've got like 
pimples here and there which for now obviously on a budget i'm not i'm not gonna like go uh getting chemical peels and stuff girl because we're getting there so i use this and this is one of the best products that i've used my squeezer uses that so i was just like mm, let me try this and then it really works for me i also use the dove body soap and that works also for my face it's very calming because usually if you've got pimples or you've got acne you almost feel as though your affected areas are burning so painful the dove cream bar basically calms the skin so once you've scrubbed and masked and stuff i use that also around the ears to make sure my ears are clean and then scrub up and down my neck especially here guys when we do makeup we do contour towards the hairline i advise you to take a clean a white cloth and i take the cream bar make it soapy make sure i go in like in 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 into my hairline this cloth will show you <laughs> and i knew that like this area is dirty you could use this um micellar water as well to break down a lot of um fats and oils that are on your face which also works if you use a cotton bud again you can go in with the apple cider vinegar along your hairline to make sure that there is no dirt okay you should do like once in a while don't do it too often because certain chemicals or products can be very damaging to the skin especially on your face and on your scalp do not use certain products too often just use it every time that you can and when you feel like you need that extra deep clean the next thing would be my face cream right i don't currently have it out or anywhere near me but I do use the Clinique a night mask and I use it during the day and night. It locks in, brings back the moisture. Okay, on to the next thing. When I'm in the bath, I wash with two body soaps or two body washes. The reason for this is because I really want to smell like I've come out of the bath. But it's just a personal preference to wash with a bar soap and with a body wash. What I prefer is Dove. This is the best i actually got this routine from one of the youtubers online which is azalea williams she's very good at doing personal hygiene stuff which i very much take to heart i go in with this in my lady parts right my lady parts don't react to dove at all you will know when something reacts badly to your skin or to your, that certain area so i take the soap make it soapy on my hands wash down there with my hands wash 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 up my bum make sure that it's clean 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 then rinse with a shower head and make sure that you rinse with clean water right and then i'll start then with my neck with the same white washcloth around my neck area everywhere with this soap everywhere down to my toes and then i go in with a body wash this is my favorite so far like the smell of this is so amazing you see the coconut in the water it's exactly that it's just so refreshing it just smells so good it's by also oh heavenly the island bliss this just smells so good guys i love it so then i'll take this and then put a little bit on my washcloth then i go in with this again go in make sure that this cloth is white it must not be brown please <laughs> if it's brown it means you must go in again and wash and wash and wash right um i concentrate on these areas because your roll on tends to feel a little bit sticky so that is what you use to then make sure that everything smells clean and smells good obviously on those days where you're doing a deep clean it takes much longer than it should but i think this is something that i don't compromise with i wash first with dove and then with the body wash guys i also use this to bath it depends on what i want to do that day the cloth definitely is a a measurement of how clean i am and then maybe if i'm showering later that night then you just go in with body wash and basically you smell just as fresh for my feet i basically use the dove soap again as well as with the pummy stone that you use to make sure <laughs> <laughs> you make sure that your heels are scrubbed guys we don't want any cracks and stuff 
in your heels okay i guess that's it for the bath basically you're in the bath you've done your two times bathing and now you want to shave i shave in the bath or in the shower it doesn't matter where you do it castor oil or olive oil or any sort of coconut oil as long as it's an oil once your body has soaked into the warm water right your pores are open and that allows you to shave because we want the pores to you know they must be ready for the shaving right then you put this onto your armpits or anywhere you want to shave which makes it easier just a swipe shoo, 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 shoo. obviously it's a swipe for me because i do it as often as possible so it's quite a quick thing i've just got this here right now to show you what a shaving stick looks like but the shaving stick you should be using is the five bladed shaving stick if you do get like irritation after shaving i think it's just best for you to invest in a five bladed shaving stick and you then go according to that direction of your hair growth that would be down and then also on your coochie you would have to then shave downwards and in the areas that you want hair not to be after every swipe you put on some oil after every side put on some oil make sure you rinse this with hot water every time so that you no know, there's no hairs getting stuck into your shaving stick so yes you rinse all of that off and then it's time to lotion your body up sassa yourself so i use aquas cream this is just amazing to use because it literally doesn't react like for me personally this doesn't react to anything it's scentless it's it just makes you moisturize it doesn't make you oily like it's just amazing for anyone who feels like they've got complicated skin but on a budget aquas cream is definitely the perfect thing to use while i apply aquas cream simultaneously i'll put some Bramley tissue oil, right? This smells amazing. This and this are almost like a match made in paradise because of the coconut smell, the coconut everything, coconut, coconut, coconut. Yeah, I just always smell so nice. There's a lady on Instagram, her page is Fashion Things, and she gets oils from, from Dubai, from the Arabian country. And this bottle, this small bottle is 200 bucks, guys. Like, I invested. I was just like, there's no way. I need to smell good. So, I used this, this, and the Aquas cream simultaneously. So, my body, each part, every way, just smells nice. It just smells so good. And that's that on that. Again, with the Dove, I love Dove so much because all their products just make you feel clean and feel fresh and so i go in with this what is the well it's not really a flavor but i go with the gold i feel like every girl needs to have a box of these you cannot go anywhere without this our um, lady parts are a cleaning device so they're always excreting or they are breathing and they are talking and they're chatting and they're they've got their own lives child so <laughs> you need to make sure that she's also okay she's also protected from any sort of clothing that you're wearing any sort of underwear that might make her uncomfortable i mean not all of us can go to la sanza or go to bras and things and buy absolutely luxurious underwear we just buy an h and m mr price you know and you understand so please the last thing that i do is i brush my teeth with my colgate <laughs> max <laughs> toothpaste so the thing is tiwa giga if it's lent or kwama video because it's finished it's almost finished so but it must be finished i must show you guys that i'm using these things and my toothbrush just to brush obviously your teeth it's always good to have a timer with you because you have to have to have to wash your teeth for two minutes or just sing the happy birthday song in your head and basically your teeth will be clean what also would be good is 30 seconds on each side so 
from here to here 30 seconds and then from here to here 30 seconds from here to here 30 seconds from here to here 30 seconds <laughs> and then you rinse your mouth with warm water lukewarm water and goggle always remember to goggle and use a mouthwash basically and just and you are done guys i hope that was informative for you guys and i hope that you guys i wouldn't miss anything and i hope that you guys found it very helpful to know what we are doing these days to keep clean and wash because we need to be fresh all day every day thank you guys so much for watching please make sure to watch another video follow like and subscribe follow like and subscribe what what comment <laughs> comment down below if you feel like i've missed anything or if you have questions or if you have a tip and trick that i can use as well in my 2021 hygiene routine Please be sure to catch the next video soon.